We got two more missions. I can't watch 30 minutes of credits. All the worth. One of them's relatively short and one of them's a little longer, but... Continue the game. Hi, Tads. You survived! So I'm proud of them. Crinkles. And so did Sir, did Sir Crinkles? Yeah! <laughs> Email? None. Well, you don't have a secretary anymore, so... Oh yeah, all my friends are dead. You're like, that, you're like that dinosaur book. Oh yeah! All my friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be the most like... Just so you know, I'm running a fever, I've got a nasty cough, and my sinuses are filled with something I can't even describe. And it was totally worth it. <laughs> you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much... But I understand if you need to find something... I don't want to risk Thank your help. You. Okay, apparently that's the only line left for her. Okay. Back to the CIC! The bridge is still really quiet. What? No, that actually that that was, wasn't that, that was, one. No, no. No, <laughs> no there's two no, actual there's missions. two legit missions. Knightley's, Knightley's too busy crying to type. I'm assuming. Now we're gonna do Zaid's loyalty. <laughs> he survives, so he gets his loyalty mission done. Yeah, I had a, like, when I was playing mine, as much as I wanted to play blind, I had a really, like, serious talk with Matt that I didn't want anyone to die. And I was like... I I let her choose everything, but I did tell her ahead of time if she was going to choose something that got someone killed, I would question her decision. Yeah. Luckily, I never had to do that. All of her choices made everybody live. Yeah. But she didn't know that at the time. She, like, halfway through, she was like, he's not telling me he wants me to kill people. Yeah, so I had to be like, okay, look... I can't have people die. My heart cannot take this. I need. I want my people to live. So that was an agreement on our part, but yeah. I, I never needed to do it, which was no. lucky. You said I came close with Rex. You were gonna step in if I, because I was. You were really close to I killing. Would, yeah, Rex. I was keeping. I wasn't disarming it quick enough. By the way, we did do Miranda's loyalty mission. Yeah. Creed, even though she doesn't have a circle under her feet. She chose Jack. And uh, yeah. Her Miranda and Miranda and Jack got into a fight, and I was all like, "Miranda, you need to back the fuck down." Jack's right, and then she got really pissed off at me. Let's uh, let's give it more weapon damage. Yeah, weapon damage. Squad disruptor. Hell yeah, dude. All right, cool. We'll save the points for later. Who am I fighting here? Uh, you know, I think that's still the best gun. That's why I do it. Creed's leaving. Why are you leaving, Creed? You gotta go masturbate real quick. Makes sense. He's hold on. He's like, hold on. You're doing Zaid's mission. Uh, <laughs> Zaid. Okay, I'm back. I love that. Like a third of your face doesn't match the other two thirds. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Okay. Squad Bravo. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Hello, oh, go little pie jack. Are they just called pie jacks? Yep. Okay. They're not called pie jack monkey things. They can be if they want to. <gasps> Command to Bravo. Take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. 
ways. Well, the last mission is setting up for the third game. Yeah, the the, the mission I'm going to do after this one is pre-mission, pre-Mass Effect 3. Yeah. It technically takes place between 2 and 3. More of like a respite, I suppose, before that one. Uh, I wasn't even watching. Yeah, I can just write. the rocket lady up there came down. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. Is that why your face is fucked up? <laughs> yes. They're at the Southern Axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Squad Charlie, Delta, mass at the gatehouse! Saeed Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? A nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the 
hell are you doing? Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident, had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, <laughs> you better make damn sure that man dies today. You want him dead? Then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. <laughs> this isn't a renegade run! All over the place. It is, man. That one was... <laughs> Shit, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I was loud right in my ear holes. them out. Good luck everybody. Be safe. Uh, fuck that thing. Now what's this? I'll take it. I need to pick it up just for the hell of it. People love flamethrowers. Yeah, flamethrowers, hands down, the worst, wet, worst heavy weapon in the game. It's terrible. Uh, yeah, firestorm. 
throwing art projector. Get rid of that crap. A weird sound effect. Yeah, it's not Just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch! Ah. You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah, screw you. But come on, get me out of this shithole. I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I'll do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You're too crazy, Zaid. You have no place among my crew. You can't be serious. You need me.
Renegade version of that way better. The Renegade version was a lot better, but... Yeah. But yeah, I get it. At all costs. <laughs> all of them. All of the costs. Alright, final mission time. Okay. Let's go feed Ted. Except Ted's. Ted's lived. Well, these ones. Yeah, yeah. Ted 2.0. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I wonder who we're going to take on our crew in this one. We have a lot of people to choose from. We should take Ron, um... We should take Garrus. Oh. Um, Warden, uh... What about Thane? Oh. <laughs> so many. Oh, man. Dead choices. So many dead choices. It's so dumb. Oh, I don't take anybody on this mission. Never mind. It's just me! Yeah, because technically at this point you wouldn't have your crew. Knightley would like this one, or will like this one. Yeah, definitely. And not, not saying that is like Matt's gonna go kill a bunch of people. Ha ha ha! Nightly. It's no, just like, really good. No, it's very serious. Well, that's fair, but I feel like the only way to tell her would be a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I'm not fucking with you. This mission is really good. I was going to say this was my favorite DLC, but technically mine was the... yours. David. Ah, yes. But this one was like, holy crap. Yeah, this one's amazing. They've seen us. He's just talking to himself. They've Very. seen us. The Katerians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. When it was running towards you, you should have gone, Do you know Urs? Aww. Do you know Urs? Aww. Sleep tight, my friend. What about you? <laughs> Jesus. This place is run down. <laughs> I mean, he did kind of earn it after all the deaths. humans are scurrying like vermin out in the asteroid belt. Is anywhere safe from them? We should arm a mission to flush them all out. This should come in handy. We wanted to 
slam an asteroid to the mass relay. Can they even do that? What difference does it make? We caught them. Shot him in the tummers. <laughs> he was like, ah, oh, my tummers. No way it was working. Really can't be damaged, much less destroyed. Those humans will do anything to destroy us, I swear. We have to be in one of the kids. What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're looking at a major diplomatic incident if the Batarians find out I was involved. This evidence had better be worth it. It is. The Reapers are coming. Diplomacy is the least of our worries. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find them. Go. <laughs> Ready. What is your plan? Get your gun. Get your gun. That wasn't awkward at all. We need to go this way. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere.
know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Suppress the teams to cell block. side. Bring it down to us. Almost done. <laughs> Knocked one of them off. That did it. Let's move. Okay. One last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. Heads up! Exactly. Kenton. Yeah, they're so stupid. Ha <laughs> ha. 
gotta go back in time. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How were you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, and aftermarket ESO-core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Good to hear your voice, Doctor. You coming home? Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. Right. I'll get everything set up for your arrival. Uh, Project Base out. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Now, Maester remembers. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this one. Oh yeah, probably has the hardest fight in the whole game. You have to battle your inner demons. <laughs> to master oneself, one must face themselves. Like a kitty cat. Meow. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? 
There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit here for another 40, <laughs> uh, 51 hours, 24 minutes, and see what happens. That is like, um... I don't, know, I, I, I don't know if I can wait that long. Come on, Knightley, don't wuss out on us. Can you? I have no idea. I always wanted to try. One day. One day. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left.